So I wanted to make a video about my resume and my experience as a software engineer. Uh, so, you know, you guys can look at my resume. Hopefully you guys can get some tips. Uh, and if you guys see anything that you guys want to add to your resume or you guys want to copy the style, you guys can do that too. Um, I've gotten, you know, interviews with Google, Facebook, uh, top consulting firms, investment banks with this resume. And I feel like if I show this to you guys, you guys can get some tips from it. So the first way I'm going to structure it is or tell you guys is the way I structured my resume. Um, if you already have a couple years of experience, I feel like having your professional experience on the top would be better. Um, but if you're just graduating college, I think your education should be on the top. But once you have, you know, that five or more, maybe three or more years of experience, I think you should switch it over because from there on out, the employer and the recruiters just want to know your experience. You already graduated. You have that experience. They want to see what you've done. Um, so I have that. And then here are the languages that I've learned and that I know. And at the end, just any additional skills. Uh, that you want to add, you know, have my sites and uh, spoken languages. So we'll get to this uh, later on. So the way what I'm going to talk to you is my, about my professional experience. I guess I'm going to start backwards. Um, so technically, uh, when I was in college, I guess I can go right here. I started, I was in college uh, in Orlando, Florida. I went to UCF, studied computer science, got a minor in math. And that was August 2014. From there, or while I was there, I was a math tutor at St. Mercy College. Uh, what I was doing, I was tutoring students in all types of math. You know, as you can see, algebra, trig, calculus, statistics. Um, I really, really enjoyed being a tutor. It was something that, and you know, I really like teaching students. I feel like I have a good, I, I believe I'm a really good teacher in explaining different topics. And students will always come back to me saying, oh, I passed my class because of you, you've really taught me, and that always made me feel good. So I think teaching uh, has always been something that I've enjoyed and I felt I was good at. Um, but pretty much I wrote what I did. Uh, I was a tutor for about two years and a half or so. Uh, it was a pretty a, a good time. I had a blast. I met a lot of people. Uh, but that was pretty much uh, the first job that I had, and um, after that, I pretty much finished whenever I finished college, and right after that, I actually ended up getting a job at Deloitte, um, aka Deloitte Digital, 2014, September 2014, after college, and there I did a lot of um, projects, technology projects. Uh, my first project, um, I was doing a lot of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It was uh, with a government agency just building um, like a portal where people can log in um, and managers can manage uh, people and liaisons that they had. Um, and after that project, what lasted probably like six, seven months, I actually got a project in Michigan uh, where I actually built a, a tax system uh, where businesses could come in and do all their taxes online. And I did that, obviously, with Angular. At that point, it was 2016 or 2015, so Angular 1 uh, was pretty much the most popular thing at the moment. And Angular 2 hadn't come out, but a couple months later, or about, I think 2016 is when Angular 2 came out, uh, we started doing Angular 2 projects. So my experience, you know, has been as a full-stack uh, engineer at Deloitte. I ended up getting many projects. I built APIs, especially with Node. Uh, one of the projects that I had, I had to build like an SSO when it was all done in Java. So I have experience there. Um, when I first started, a lot of the applications were uh, monolithic applications. So, you know, as microservices or that, you know, the new tech microservices um, started blowing up. You know, I got a lot of experience from senior developers and how to build that. And I was able to, you know, build microservices. So um, I think that's one of the something that a lot of you know senior developers really look for um, from transition to that junior level to that senior level knowing how to turn monolithic applications to microservices what they are and architecture through my time in my projects i worked with open databases sql mongo 
Elasticsearch, it's a full text search database. I really, really learned a lot from these databases. Um, got a lot of experience. I also did a lot of DevOps. I actually was the lead DevOps uh, for one of the projects. And uh, you know, I did Docker, Terraform, Ansible, Jenkins, you know, all the DevOps. I really enjoy DevOps and I wish I could do it more um, than I do now, but it's something that I've enjoyed. Um, and I also did a lot of cloud technologies there. So I was at Deloitte for about four years and a half or so. I was there from September 2014 to 2019. Um, so coming to my other experience, while I was at Deloitte, I actually had all these jobs. So while I was at Deloitte, I kind of did these as my side hustle. My first side hustle was June 2016 to February 2017. I actually joined a boot camp, which was the UCF coding boot camp. I was a teacher assistant helping students, teaching them how to code. Um, so there was a a teacher and pretty much I would help the teacher I graded homework assignments sometimes I taught class it was great and I ended up getting a lot of experience I felt like I became an even better developer just being in that those six months I feel like I learned so much I would never take it back and because I learned so much it was 24 week uh, boot camp uh, we taught the students the whole full stack you know JavaScript, Node, HTML, CSS, um, Bootstrap, jQuery. We did some React. We did, I don't think I wrote React here, but we did some React. We did um, other programming languages. Um, they did a lot of API and a lot of API customization. Um, and we did go through some computer science algorithm fundamentals um, and some interview prep, uh, which I taught uh, the class. So that was a lot of experience that I ended up getting here. Um, after this ended, uh, one of my friends found this guy that was uh, searching for some developers to create a startup, uh, which I pretty much, uh, you know, was like, yeah, we should do the startup. We got funded. Uh, we ended up building uh, this. It was pretty much a construction app application. And I built it with HTML, CSS, AngularJS, and Node, and SQL, because at that moment, that's what I felt I knew the most. And from a... Um, server side I deployed everything uh, with Heroku and I did I used to since the application we had to start images and pictures I used AWS S3 APIs so pretty much that startup went pretty well it lasted only a year and that's because after we did the startup um, we only got one company uh, to use our products the, we couldn't really sell it to other uh, companies um, unfortunately but you know right now one company is using our product and they've been using it uh, you know since we built it and that's pretty cool you know fortunately we couldn't sell it for you know to anyone else uh, but it was fun while it lasted i pretty much we built this from scratch so i also learned so much from building this application from scratch i learned so much about business development um you know operation cost not just coding i really learned business management skills you know i was talking uh, you know to you know investors it was a really different type of atmosphere and at the same time i'm building this application from scratch and just all that i feel like this was one of the pinpoints of my career where i learned the most in the short uh, amount of time um after that right after that my friend was working at um uh, this place called Broker Agent 360. Uh, they pretty much, you know, they're like a Zillow in a sense. So they were having a lot of issues with their site. It was going really slow. So they pretty much brought me in and were like, oh, hey, can you be able to help? I was like, well, let me look. There's a possibility. Maybe not. Um, I looked at their site and I was like, oh, yeah, I can help you guys. So pretty much what I did was, you know, I tried to make the site faster, you know, enhance optimization performance. So I, improved application speed by 70%. I worked, since they were using AWS for everything, I pretty much helped them out with AWS. I was I worked on their EC2 servers. Um, I also worked, you know, with some JavaScript, um, SQL, PHP um, that they had there. I actually didn't write it down just because obviously your resume should usually be no more than one or two pages, depending how much experience you have. So I just wanted to keep it short, just the main things that I did there. So as you can see, all this 
all these dates, as you can see, that was all going on while I was still working at Deloitte. So um, once I finished this in November, I kept working at Deloitte. And at that same time, I was also more at the end of 2018. I started looking for a new job. I felt like I needed you know, a bigger pay. I wanted a senior position because I felt I knew enough. And luckily, I ended up getting a job um, at another, another consulting firm called Capgemini. And what I did there, um, or what I'm doing there, I just started about three months ago, you know, has been doing, you know, Angular development, um, TypeScript, some Java things. Um, so pretty much this is my experience so far, what I've done for the past three months, I would say. Um, but the way I structured everything, and I feel like a lot of companies like my resume is, you know, that experience. I have a, you know, top consulting firms here. And I have some side hustles here uh, that I've done as a consultant. I really wrote uh, what I did. You know, I extended and supported REST APIs. I implemented, you know, and extended high performance. You know, what did I do? You know, I worked on applications, um, Java technologies. Um, here, I would say, you know, I improved application speed and performance by over 70%. Like, these are things that, you know, I did. You know, I optimized the site for high availability, availability uh, throughput uh, speed. So pretty much also the way you write what you did um, in your resume. And I feel like, you know, having this experience, obviously having more experience is better for you. But and I just think doing these high side hustles really helped me and uh, not only my resume, but I feel like I learned, especially here, these two, I learned so much and I could not have learned it would have taken me such a longer time if I would have done those things and would have just stayed you know at Deloitte just doing projects here and there which you do learn a lot but um, I feel like something like a boot camp which is extensive you're constantly helping all types of people um, everybody's giving asking you questions you learn so much um, going back to you know my education you know, I did a bachelor's in computer science. Uh, I also got a certificate in AWS, uh, Amazon Certified Developer Associate, which only lasts for two years. I haven't really used AWS as much as I would have wanted to, but I still do have the certificate to show to employers. And now uh, for this, I actually had all this put together, but I wanted to split it up. So when companies they can see right away, you know, what languages do I know, or what cloud technologies do I know, or do you know DevOps or data or web. So I pretty much split this in this way because I just thought it was better for me uh, or for the recruiters to read what I know in each department, I would say. And here for other, you know, Scrum and Agile, Microservices, Nginx, um, this could probably be web, but you know, Lazing products. Uh, and all these, you know, types of programming paradigms that I do know. And at the end, you know, additional skills, you know, I have a LinkedIn. If you have a site or a GitHub, you can write that um, in the languages that I, I know, which is English, Spanish, Italian. Um, so my resume is only two pages long. I think this is pretty good. Um, the reason, like I said at the beginning, I've gotten interviews with this resume from Facebook, uh, Amazon, uh, Google, top consulting firms, even top investment firms, uh, hedge funds. So I feel like my resume is good enough for that. Obviously, once you get that interview process, you have to pass the interview, which is a completely different skill set and it's extremely difficult, especially for you know big tech companies and hedge funds. But overall, this is the way I have it structured, and that's you know my uh, experience so far. Thank you.